Hello, people of you, welcome to Mr. Reviews. Uh, today I'll be reviewing Yu Gi Oh! Uh, Brains SO65 Playmaker's Burt. Um, this was continuing along with the last episode, but did time to sound uh, how uh, Yusaku or Playmaker or or no, whatever you want to call him, uh, got the Cyber's deck. And this is the beginning of him and uh, Kusanagi or or named uh, and a dungeon with Kusanagi uh, activating um, a booby trap. And then there's a flashback before they got into the dungeon with the zombies again frustrated again any answers and Kusanagi tell them that the normal form or get frustrated. I just uh, saw some. It's a website about the uh, cyber cards, and it said I don't know, like uh, a message board or something uh, about this urban legend, the uh, cyber deck, and the uh, Kusanagi thing is it's a joke. But you stop going your hand is taking it seriously, thinking. That the cyber deck might be a good secret weapon to use against the uh, nice of noise, so decided to check it out. And uh, they make it to uh, the last uh, quiz or test in the dungeon. Yeah, I wish there was only other tests, but like I say. Um, before they can actually uh, do anything uh, at night with Noi, as he takes part first, uh, it's kind of one of those uh, tests in in a game where a uh, 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 NPC uh, faces you and you have like uh, people on your side and it has people on its its as well. So this is the figure out how to use the pieces and then the uh, ghost ghost uh, cybers or cybers ghost whoever has a uh, 1400 light point or uh, 14,000 light points and the person taken the quiz has a uh, 100 light points so it's kind of tricky and do I have no thought be able to defeat uh, the ghost by uh, powering up uh, his uh, mechamorph by uh, 200 points, which gives it 4,000 light points. Yeah, I don't know when you have any attack points are. But the ghost has uh, this trap called the uh, Chaos Burst, which uh, destroys the attacking monster and deals the owner 500 points of damage oh yeah and then mechamorph as he uh, has a additional effect of a uh, demon in uh, the 1000 light points so mm. and because I thought that the I might be able to try again as I did the I have no but then this snake like thing comes up and eats him or forces the uh, um to force him out of the virtual world. Yeah. And I think Shaku was the only one that thought something like that would happen. And then when he's about to do it, it just takes a long time. Strategizing, or just come up with a strategy and just talking to Kusanagi. And he does do some moves when he actually comes up with a strategy, and uh, then I'm like annoyed, just come thinking that his plan is gonna work. And uh, Kusanagi uh, just uh, tack or either tack tackles him or just uh, tries to fight him off and then puts this uh, 
hang around there and, and step onto a wall that, that the thing won't really last long, it said. But it's always able to win thanks to the strategy and every time you play one of the extra deck uh, link monsters, the path to the deck uh, gets uh, filled. And I don't know why he's able to get out when it uh, exactly wins. Uh, the other deck is also a hologram. And the Nightmare Lights is just laughing that they put all this effort in from nothing and Kuznagi is rightly upset. But uh, when they back to a dense city, uh, Saku realizes that the, the quiz is also a map to the real deck. And that's the deck that's in a dense city. And uh, you find the deck when uh, Saku talks to the this uh, thing on a desk or something and Tukunagi is just uh, thrilled that their hard work or Isaki's hard work wasn't in vain and saying that the deck is as strong as their bond and along that that they have the deck that that their bond will be strong or something like that Um, what, what else? Oh yeah, that's a lot of story, but Flame uh, says there's one uh, thing that isn't answered. I would say two, but whatever. Basically, uh, he, he didn't, he, he was talking, or uh, Chris Nagy didn't say how he suckly became Playmaker. Yeah, I thought the other that was the question. Whose deck was it? And who left that? Who made the, the freaking dungeon? <sighs> anyway, before Kutaki can tell a little bit of how uh, Isaki became Playmaker, uh, he goes back to Shima and Isaku at, a, at a first to try, they're trying to show that Shima knows that Isaku is Playmaker, but he just said that he and Playmaker are soulmates. And then he reveals why tanks is Isaku's secret that he had a part time job since he saw Isaku working in the, the hot dog truck back in episode 47. And the reason he thinks it's a secret because the school uh, doesn't uh, let uh, the kids or teenagers have a part time job. Yeah, I think. That most uh, schools or Japanese schools don't do that, but mm. and Tim would probably have to snitch on the Isaku if he does one thing for him. And I said, uh, tell, tell him to set up these postcards for the uh, Blue Angel Shake Hand event thing. I think that's the event that uh, that Emma got at uh, Aoi. To do when she was uh, dueling uh, Shima as, as a uh, Brave Max, but uh, well. Um, when the uh, Shima just puts his uh, like a like bow and his head up, Saku just gone. <laughs> then he just walks off, and they just start screaming as Saku said, "You know, Shima's the playmaker on him." Oh God! I know it's gonna be stupid, but still. And does he have the present job with the uh, Kusnagi's auto truck? Because right, I thought that was like a one time tang, or that's what, what uh, Shimmer thinks. Anyway, that's what ends with the uh, Kusnagi to sound a little bit of how a uh, Planaker got his name, and I used to say some this guy every night or night and I to say his name is Planaker. Yeah, that that's just a bad, bad way, that bad thing. Like, didn't know what the like, how he got the name or anything. Just so did the first time he actually yes, used the name. Yeah, 
that's a real cool thing to put in and call and this is episode called the birth of playmaker Ugh. anyway uh, this episode's okay and with the one from last week still is okay I kind of like the duel in it and there was some other people you saying Oh, I'm actually saying that Yusaku is using the first uh, Link uh, structure deck. And I think he's still using the deck in the, uh, in the dungeon, maybe? I don't know. Because I don't think uh, by Proxy Dragon was anything was in the Yu Gi Oh! or the Yu Gi uh, Kai 2016. Yeah. Uh, do, uh, do so as some of the playmakers uh, uh, future Link monsters in the duel like the uh, Link Spider and the uh, server server said uh, Gardner the server Gardner I don't know and binary sorcerers hmm. uh, I just hoped it would have been depths of one better but as I said the explanation and the strategy took a bit too long and this sound dead like an end that the first time playmate or Jizaku uses is the name playmaker was just bad. I think the whole story the whole episode could have been how you got the idea to come up with the name playmaker or something like that but I don't know. Hopefully, uh, next week's episode is better when uh, Isaku, Ignis, and uh, Kusunagi get an email from this uh, person saying that he is an Ignis and wants to be the playmaker. But I think we got, we got a, a bit. I'm surprised because I didn't just one Agnes uh, that I gotta find. And um, I just wonder if uh, it's gonna be like Flame Eye trusting humans or like Windy and um, Mouth Reef trusting humans. Uh, I don't wonder what Kira is gonna be doing in it. And um, I just wonder if uh, Queen is gonna uh, chew him out for not uh, casting. Playmaker after this time. And. Uh, yeah, let's get more into it in the episode next week. And, and until next time, I'm going to see you guys later.